नमस्ते आई जे वी एम नरेंद्र कुमार चार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फैकल्टी ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड मेथोलॉजी इन ज्योति विद्यापीठ वीमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी जय तो प्रीवियसली वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द सिक्योरिटी अटैक्स नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डिफी हेलमेन की एक्सचेंज एल्गोरिथम नेट वी विल सी कि हाउ ए की इज एक्सचेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिफी हेलमेन so this is the first published public key algorithm that uh, defined a key, uh, public key cryptography it was published by diffy and hellman uh, these are the two person uh, behind this so it is generally referred uh, to as diffy hellman key exchange algorithm now uh, when we see a number of commercial products employ this key exchange type uh, why do they In this just because here uh, there are things because of uh, the key exchange technique is for two and uh, entities is way easier just like here we have two persons and they are some having a prime number a randomly generated number is shared and then they apply this prime number and share this so we will see the complete process in the next slides so what is the purpose of this algorithm so the purpose of this algorithm is to enable to users to exchange the secret key securely uh, that uh, then can be used for subsequent encryption of messages it's like if i have to uh, if i want to send a message to another entity so there is a issue of security this like uh, someone might uh, see the message alter the message or might delete the message and send some other messages there so why we need the algorithm uh, such uh, such algorithms this because we want to uh, communicate securely it's like we can take an example of uh, public cryptography which is used in uh, our whatsapp chats and uh, some other chats where end to end encryption is applied this like they encrypt the messages and the messages is decrypted only by the receiver we want to communicate so the algorithm itself is a limited to exchange of the keys it is just uh, to uh, exchange the keys there is nothing like some messages to send or do something like that now it depends uh, for its effectiveness on the difficulty or computing discrete log systems it's like we are using some mathematical operations here so we are using log so we will see that so what is the algorithm so let's assume that there are two publicly known numbers a prime number is q and an integer a that is a primitive root of q what is the primitive root of q when we see that a prime number is q and integer a and this is the uh, primitive root of q So we have two numbers here, a and q. When we see it, the uh, okay. So there are two numbers. So for a prime number p, if a is a primitive root of p, then uh, a, these values are distinct mod p. This is obvious. It's like uh, if I have a value, uh, I have a value uh, which is uh, which can be divided or by the, uh, when we calculate by the a time number. Just like if we took here a nineteen is this a time number, and its primitive roots are two, three, ten, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. It's like this is these are less than nineteen here. So what will be the mod p here? So these values uh, will be as it is. For this mod p, just like I want to say, if two mod nineteen, so it is obvious that the value will be two here. Now suppose user a and b is to create a shared key. So I mark here. There is a user a and there is a user b. Okay. So these one, uh, these two entities want to share. a key so a selects a random integer 
x a which is less than q and computes this and then what q so if we if it is selecting a value x a and then it is calculating uh, calculating the value y a that means here a will calculate the value y a and b will calculate the value y b by using some uh, random integer now similarly b will independently select a random integer x b so the, the the values here this is the x a this is a, a is uh, independently selecting this and x b here b is selecting independently so what is the thing by using these values a and b will create uh, y a and y b like this and mod q and q is uh, some uh, prime value no and uh, no no q is a, a number here so each side keeps the x value private and makes the y value available publicly to the another side when we calculate this so x value is here it is private for a it is private for b but the value y a it is made public public y b will be made public and then x is is private key and y a is is corresponding public key this is private key so we can name this as k r of a and this is k u of a. The, the same process applies on the b this is the private key of b and this is the public key of b now we see uh, a cal user a computes the key as uh, y b this is the x a and mode q and b will uh, compute the key y a is to power x b and mode q why we doing uh, why we are doing this is like y b is having the value what is y b have it is having it is having x b raised to power what is it a raised to power x b We are having a raised to power x a. This is uh, the value of uh, uh, and mod q. So this is the value of y a, and we are doing this. We are applying x. B. Why we are doing this? X B mod Q. So when we do this, just like it, it is shared with B, the value of uh, A is shared with B. So we will apply this uh, on you know, to compute the key. So here, here we see the value of Y A. Will be calculated like this. So the mod Q will be the common here, and the final value of y b will be y b is equal to a raised to power x a x b mod Q. Exactly the same process will be followed by y a. Y a is equal to a raised to power x b mod q and here we are seeing this so power will be x a mod q so when we see the mod q will be uh, common here and the, the final value will be a raised to power x b x a 
So these values are the same. A raised to power x b x a and uh, x b x a. So these values are same. That's why we can see the value calculating here is a common value which is x. So at the both ends, just like a, at the end of a, this key will be calculated using y b and x a. So what is the y b? Y b is this. And we have calculated a raised to power x b x a. Here, what is the value of y a? Y a is a raised to power x a and power x b. So this is the thing. So values are same here. So this is how the key is shared and uh, generated here. Now, when we see the complete process, so uh, the, there are two entities like uh, Alice and Bob. So Alice and Bob share a prime number Q, which is the same for each, and an integer alpha, uh, such as alpha is less than Q. And uh, alpha is also primitive root of Q. Uh, then next step, the Alice generates a private key XA, such, uh, such that x is less than q, just like it's created a, its private key, just like a, a number, which is a private key to him. Uh, and the Bob, Bob gen also generates the private key xb, so this is xb less than q. Now, uh, when we talk about the value uh, calculate, uh, calculated by using this private key, which is the public key, so the public key will be y a is equal to alpha raised to power x a and mod q. Same process is uh, at the end of Bob. They exchange the value y a and y b just because the public key is shared between uh, 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 among the network and the, to share with the, anyone else uh, who want to see that. So they exchange and they calculated a value. So here Alice, uh, Alice calculates a shared key uh, which is uh, y b uh, by using this this value here y b raised to power x a in mode q and here also y a raised to power x b and q mode q so this is how the key is uh, generated here so now uh, both have the same key which is k as we as, as we have seen here the values will generated will be same now uh, we uh, now let's see an example of this. So we are taking a prime number which is five uh, three five three, and uh, a primitive root uh, three five three. Value of a we are taking here is three. Now in we uh, have selected their value is ninety seven and two thirty three, which is less than the value of q. Then we see. Uh, first, uh, first of all, a will come to y a, which is three raised to power x a. Uh, the, 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 the value which was selected by a here. See here, uh, this is ninety seven. So the ninety seven mode three five three. What is three five three? This is q. We have taken q here. Okay. So uh, the value will be forty here. Uh, 3 raised to power 97 mode uh, 353 will be 40 and same process will be followed by the 3. So 3 raised to power 233. This is 233 and mode 353. This is 248. Now, when they exchange these values with each other, just like a, a, a have to compute a key, shared key k, then it will use the value of this and raised to power 97 and mode 353 which is 160 and for uh, b this also will be the same so what is the q here a here y a y b these are the values and we are calculating the shared key so the key will be 160 here so this this was all about the dp hellman algorithm uh, now, where, when we see the, we have uh, created, successfully created a secret key here. Now, when we talk about the security, so what is the security of uh, Diffie-Hellman algorithm? So, 
it is relatively easy to calculate exponential modulo a prime so difficult to calculate discrete algorithms so for a large primes the a task is uh, something uh, complex or not very easy to calculate that oh thank you